Alright guys, we are back with some more Hidarashi last time. The boys have shown up, we're ready to attack. Uh, well it's not exactly Tokyo, but you know, we're just gonna call them Tokyo. Right in their big dumb faces. Hanada's going down, everyone's going down. We got the full force on deck. <laughs> Let's get into this. This guy's clearly evil, they don't know what's coming. Yeah, look at these jabronis. Who do you think you are? As the bearded man answered the call on the other end of the line, he jerked his chin to signal the young man standing beside him. The man nodded in response, then ran off to pick up one of the cardboard boxes piled up in another corner of the warehouse, then sliced, <coughs> then sliced a knife through the tightly wrapped packaging tape. The tape was cleanly cut and peeled off. Then he pried open the lid. Inside were a large number of repulsively colorful capsules wrapped in silver packaging. He pulled one out and held it up to the bearded man. <laughs> the juice. They got the juice. Oh my god! It's your girl, Nomura. I think it's the first time we heard Nomura in the whole consorts. Ah, eh, maybe not. Maybe we've heard her once. What's up, Nomura? Of course, she's the big boss here. Oh. Wonder if we're gonna get more Nomura. Probably not in this arc, but like the the sister arc, the main arc for this. Nakama マトリに逮捕させた西田も借金で首が回らなくなっていたようで金を肩代わりした上に出所後の面倒を見てやるって言ったら喜んで出頭していきましたよそれならいいけど当分は心臓を心がけてははは秘書さんは心配性ですな<
今度のお布石につぎ込んでおきますよ Sorry. <laughs> the man laughed as he said that, then hung up the phone. Then he let out an exhausted sigh and spat on the floor to vent his displeasure. What the heck? No more a hater? Shiba sensei no omori mo taihen desu ne, Yamashiro san. Hello, Hanada. Kono deedo, nan deedo mo naisa. Where's a bunch of them busted on? Ima de koso, gokai chiku no iliyo kikan ga seizei da ga. いずれ正式に認可役ともなれば全国の病そうすればプラシルの卸売りは俺の会社が独占だ<笑>ベロデジナこれが全て金の卵になると思えば Even if we don't get Shiba, these guys are definitely going down tonight 苦にも感じねえよまあそのためにモルモットにされている患者はたまったもんじゃありませんが A man in sunglasses, Shiro Hanada, shrugged his shoulders and laughed while handing an attache, attach, attach case to the bearded man called Yamashiro. In fact, the patients taking this medication were content and completely oblivious to the fact that they were being prescribed a dangerous drug. Yeah, that's, that's cool, man. Actually ruining Rena's life. Because this is, this is what I like. Fucked her up in, uh, in her bat story. This is new lore. They were experimenting on her, man. <laughs> They trust what the doctors are telling them and continue taking the medicine so that doctors can study the efficiency and side effects without knowing anything of the danger. As a result, there were cases where the dread didn't sit well and with the patient and actually made their condition worse. But that information was strictly sealed away, buried in the dark, never to be revealed. Great plan, man. Goripades. その暁には千葉先生もきっと山城さんをご支援してくださると思いますよ。As Hanada said that, deep down he smirked maliciously. If this new version of Plus Cell is finalized, Chiba would probably set up another pharmaceutical company to be the contact point for Lowell Inc. It wasn't clear yet if Yamashiro's company would be absorbed into some other organization or completely cut off. But either way, the pro. The, probably, the probability, I'm guessing, of those dreams coming to fruition was close to zero. The probability of those dreams coming to fruition was close to zero. The probability of those dreams coming to Still, Yamashiro had a reputation for being able to procure dreads cheaper than anyone else by buying up surplus inventory through backdoor sales. And he also had connections to make many medical institutions. Or just too many medical institutions. So he was the most suitable person to sell these illegal drugs through. What is Hanada's plan, man? He's like wanted. It's probably smart. おとなしくしていますよ。これだけの金があれば、向こうの国なら存分に合流しても十分こと足りますからね。ハナダ pointed to the duffel bag laying by his feet as he said that. His pad full of dollar bills, banks and other financial institutions could freeze his assets, so he thought it was most prudent to request his payment in the most widely accepted form of foreign cash. 今度の総選挙で与党が勝てば。次は奥の先生が主張。そしてそうなれば当局も俺には手を出せなくなるでしょう。いや、出したくても出せないってのが正解かな。<笑>お前さん、千葉先生に口封じで消されるってことは心配しないのか ？It is how you see it in the in the movies, right? Just 
a cycle of killing, you know. Ah, thanks for killing all those people. I'll shut you up now. I'm sure Hanada has some uh, backup plans or some leverage for his life. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like that's just, that's just a staple if you're this deep into some conspiracy shit. Yeah, I feel like that's just a staple if you're this deep into some conspiracy shit. Yeah, I feel like that's just a this man had a personality you could never get along with, and he was sure Hanada didn't like him either. しかしまあ、刑事が政治家のスパイを務める時代とはね。よもすえとは、よく言ったものだ。朝鮮、警察官ってのは言いますね。家族の中で一番偉い人間に尻尾を振って、自分よりも強い相手には歯向かわず。Bro's literally about to be proven wrong. Those are some really bad final words, man. そこに理念なんてない。あるのはただ力の原理だ。だったら強いご主人様に使える方が賢いってことになりませんか？ま、それぞれの価値観だな。とりあえず輸送機の出発まではまだ時間がある。奥の部屋が空いているから休んでいるといい。ええ、そうさせてもらいます。正直、ここんとこ安ホテルを転々として気が落ち着きませんでしたからね。Then Hanada turned around and left. After watching him go, Yamashiro walked over to the shipment to count the packets. Yes. In the end, justice is an illusion. Anyone who believes in it is an idiot. Okay. Tips, Fedora. I've seen it more times than I care to count. Detectives aren't worth a damn. I have no intention of turning back. Bro, you can't. Couldn't turn back even if you wanted to, buddy. And this time, I swear I'll. Be woo. On Tomoe's orders, the police vehicles split off into two separate groups as their sirens blared out. Then, Car 11 with Fujita and Tomoe, as well as Car 10 driven around by Yan Makita, followed the highway toward the west side of the airport. There are multiple routes in and out of Kakuchi Airport. So coming from a single direction risks leaving another exit open. Thus approaching from multiple directions would convince the enemy that they're surrounded and prevent them from trying to escape. <laughs> So if this turns into a long-term battle, there was a good chance the enemy would realize they have an advantage in numbers, which might allow them to turn the situation around. So they just have to hold out the scene and capture the key suspects before then. That was the primary objective. And... Hello. Wave. Yep, gotta approach. I mean, as badass as it would be, that I know stealthy. KG Kawa, Kuko Shikina Kara Kitawa, Jetai Kitino, Setsu Iriguche, KG Nikawa, Kuko Terminal Bill in Haite, Hanada Shiro, the Sosakto. Yes. 
and in the second division not going for it themselves. Guess we got bigger fish to fry. Tomoe delivered orders one after another over the police radio. Watching her through a sideway glance, Fujita let out a sigh of admiration. Tomoe grinned and shrugged her shoulders. She had personally walked around the surfport in her spare time and carefully studied the map many times since her father's death, and always believing there was some clue hidden in the message her father left behind. So when it came to which routes to take, to reach the airport and the fastest way to travel around them, Tomoe more than had it covered. Plus, whether the criminals stayed on the airport grounds or headed to the adjacent SDF base, Tomoe had already imagined how any such scenario would play out during her free time. Although she never actually expected those thoughts, thought exercises to come in handy someday. Yeah, that's a, a bad one. Baton time? Since they can't use firearms, they had no choice but to directly approach the enemies and capture them, and doing so put the investigators at a considerable risk. So they should have... So they should have a suicide trip sneak in once they arrive and prioritize holding down the scene. Then maybe they could manage to arrest some of them as they try to flee through a hole to in the sleep route. え、もちろん。もし他の連中も準備は万端です。あなたはダメだと言っても通りです。当然です。上司を見捨ててみんなにぶん殴られるくらいなら、怪我して有効に殴れた方がよっぽどマシですからね。<laughs> Base Fujita, this is a real, a real subordinate. Needless to say, the risk of heading inside was a far great, greater than just injury. It could mean death. But to hear Fujita say it's willing to follow her into that, even without that sort of treatment or sort of romantic sentiment behind it, it truly made her happy. Just then, a familiar voice came in over the radio. There's no mistaking it. That was Captain Hayami, leader of the first mobile investigation team. Hayami-san? Already got Calvary on the way? Holy. And they said Avengers assemble. Tomoe quickly regained her composure, then grabbed the receiver and spoke in her usual tone. Hayami and Yoshikawa were leaders of the two respective mobile investigation teams at Perpetual HQ, responsible for preliminary investigations and also organizing raids against armed criminal groups. In a sense, they're a specialized unit of gunmen intended for investigating organized crime. So, why were they here? News spreads fast. It was very encouraging, but more than that, it was so unexpected that Tomoe was confused and not at a loss for words. Hayami said he heard it from Dojima. Since he's in charge of the Journey Investigation HQ, he may have heard something from Maino. 
and he probably figured out we'd be up against a large number of armed foes. So he called in Hayami and Yoshikawa in anticipation of that? No way! Come on, bro. It's too late. Everyone's here for the party. Just embrace it. Embrace the memes. Right? Tomoe made a point to resign from the police force and head into this investigation alone because she wanted to avoid causing trouble for all her colleagues who supported her. And yet, now the first division, the second division, and even MIT at Perpetual HQ were all joining together to fight for her sake. She was delighted. But the personnel from Perpetual HQ can't afford to act on their own discretion like this. One misstep, and this could lead to total war between the police and the defense agency. Who cares? <laughs> so true. Yeah, fuck the SDF, baby. Don't worry, you guys got the moral victory regardless, okay? Honestly, they should just keep bringing more people. Freaking Oishi comes, just call literally every single person. The drug people, even though they were against us, just send everyone in. The super Jitta elite squad from, uh... Sumi Horoboshi. I was forgetting which one it was from. Remember those guys? Yeah, wait, those guys are literally evil. Never mind, don't bring them. At least the captain's evil. Kami's words were crude, but right now they felt very warm. That man had helped her many times and stored at her any time she made a mistake. And now, and in the future. Trust in Dojima. Yeah, I read a little bit. Love to see that when it's good. Naomi and Yoshikawa's boisterous laughter came pouring in through the radio. It was strange, listening to all these people. The sense of despair she'd been feeling up until this point was gradually transforming into something genuinely cheerful. And then... Almost... <laughs> Bro, I'm t <laughs> It's actually so funny. Bro, it, they just don't stop. Everyone's coming in, bro. What, is fucking Soromachi gonna show up, too? <laughs> With the documents? You're under arrest. I'll be honest, if these are people that were introduced, I don't remember most of them. Besides, I remember meeting Hayami, I think, from the mobile division. Though that was in, like, a different arc. <laughs> Tomoe suddenly jumped at another voice came over the radio. It was the Akiyama, the director of public security division at the Perpetual Police. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're feeling spicy tonight. Based. Who needs uh, an excuse now? We got a warrant. Holy. And talked him into giving us a warrant while he's sleepy and not fully cognizant. I respect it. Usaba? It was such an unexpected gift that Tomoe couldn't help but blurt that out. Based on her past experiences dealing with government agencies, getting a warrant to enter a defense agency facility was far, by far the most time consuming to obtain. And yet, they got one issued on the same day? That's absolutely, completely impossible. Bros never watch Law & Order. They literally do that all the time. Everybody hates the man. Leaking or smuggling information to countries is contrary to na national interests. So, strictly speaking, it was the sort of thing public security had to nip in the bud as soon as possible. Yeah, like this whole situation is pissing literally every single force of like law enforcement off. It's pretty great. And the fact that it involved a Precinct detective means that public security detectives had their dignity on the line, so Akiyama and his colleagues were dispatched in order to assist in the search. Why? They got literally. We, now we got permission. Nothing to be sorry about. Everything is Gucci. We got a warrant, baby. You've united all the squads. She's on a lot of sake. A dozen? She made of money? <laughs> LOL. Despite all the lively laughter, Tomoe was biting her lip and fighting to suppress the heat forming in the corner of her eyes. All of this. These veteran detectives were doing so much to support her, even after she tried to run off and act alone. But she was not alone. And justice was not a selfish act. Hi. Now we gotta recalculate because so many new people just joined in. Hi! I mean, this is so epic. I, I gotta stop here. I know. My allergies are so bad and I just wanted to record an episode, but this shit is. This shit is built up so much. I wanna be in like perfect condition. <laughs> Cause it's like, like last episode was hype. This is hype. I, I just want to be like, see, and it's also three ten in the morning. That's, that's also a bad thing. But yeah, next time, well, I can't make any promises, but I, I'd rather record not dying by allergies and at a more reasonable time. So I'm gonna end it here, and maybe we'll see. Finally, Hanada getting whopped by every single law enforcement. Agency there is in Japan. That would be sweet.